Hello everyone, today is an exciting day because it's the first day in which we can really explore the mainland. And that means it's the first day in which we can actually work on our jank project, our big mini game. I keep saying mini game, our big game for this season. So before I head off, I'm actually going to meet up with Cory because we need to create a, a vanilla immortality pickaxe to get the project started. Cory is actually going to be helping me a bit with this project. So I'm going to show him the ropes a bit. And I've been collecting uh, jewels specifically for this. I've got a lot of vanilla immortality uh, but hopefully we can create a pretty good pickaxe to use on the mainland hello well i heard you've got some sorry did we just like, shut the door on you some uh <laughs> vanilla immortality slash hammering slash other stuff that maybe we could mm -hmm. combine together um yeah probably have like about a three times too many right now <laughs> yeah, six, minus 671. Oh yeah, we had one 400, plus 495 so There's a bunch of them we could take out. Okay, right, let's let's do that then. Let's go through and, and take out some stuff. Because we don't need anything else, we should do maybe, we? Maybe, I would take out, let's start with anything that's like super high level. Yeah, so anything else. that way, uh, it would, anyone could use it basically. I think that's it. I mean, I don't know if we could go higher in hammering, but I think... Like mining what speed would be the only six? thing. That's going to be pretty good. Yeah. Which I think is fine with. You'll have haste three in the overworld. I, I think. Yeah. It'd be pretty good. All right, I'm going to click the button then. Okay, already. Okay. We're doing send it. it. Full send. No okay. Going back. Nice. Awesome. Well, you go. Make sure to put efficiency on it too. That yes, be, I'll go and do that. I think it'll be second. pretty quick. So this area here is where we're going to be building our mega game jank. We're flying around the server trying to find the ideal location and I think this is it. I need a very high mountain, which is what we've got here, which is also fairly large as in thick. So we need about 100 by 100 uh, area. So yeah, this is going to be the home of our mini game. There's a lot of work to do. Well, now we've got our new pickaxe. Uh, we can quite easily call out this mountain. And Corey is going to be helping me do this as well, which is fun. But eventually, I think we're also going to have to raise the mountains a bit. Because I think I need it to be at 191. So we need it to be about this height here. And you can see that area down there is a bit lower. This area is a bit higher. That's a bit lower. We need to kind of level it off and then kind of build up the mountain to that height. But before we do that, I think the plan is to take out all of the bulk here in the middle. So the next step I want to work on is creating a little collection system for all of our items because we're going to be creating a whole load of, uh, of blocks with this uh, clearing process and we need to put them somewhere uh, which we can then access quite easily. There's no point in wasting all these good blocks. And yeah, we do get a whole load of blocks from it. So uh, that is definitely a priority. All right, here, I've been working away at our jank area. You can see it has changed slightly from last time you saw it. I have built an enormous wall all the way around it. And that's because this is going to be the final height of the game. This level here is what we're aiming for, which means we're going to have to change this mountain to go up to that height uh, but that is a job I think probably t for the very end of the project and I've also started flattening this area and going down uh, you can see there was a big mountain here that I've taken out luckily with this uh, shatterer uh, it's actually pretty easy to get rid of a whole load of blocks quite quickly and the other thing I've done is I've added in a system for collecting resources so all the way down here, this is how big the game is going to be, by the way. Um, oh God, I hadn't really put it into perspective up to now. Um, but yeah, so this is just a rough sorting system where we're just chucking in all of the items we dig out. Uh, and this makes it a bit easier uh, to manage. And it means that if we need a load of stone or other resources, we can just come here and grab it. We don't have to worry about it. It's definitely going to be useful down the line. But yeah, it's very easy to actually mine. I'm going downwards, I think. I think I'm just going to do essentially lots of holes down. And uh, thanks to uh, our pickaxe, 
you can see we can mine incredibly quickly now there is a bit of an issue that all of the ores stay up above but i think i've got an idea on how to fix that because it's got to do with the hardness of the blocks uh, so stone obviously isn't particularly hard so blocks that are harder than stone don't actually break when I do this which explains why we've got all those ores still up there but I'm thinking that if I then go up again just with a pillar of deep slate deep slate obviously has a much higher breaking point I would hope that this is going to break those ores as well yeah okay this works this is going to save me a lot of time down the line <laughs> look at all those blocks Oh dear, this could be a mess to clean up. Oh my god, look at all those blocks falling. Okay, I only need to do this about another 100 times. Now, time for something slightly different, and that something is gear. I've been running a whole lot of vaults on stream this week, and I've been dying. I've been dying a lot, or at the very least I've been having to avoid a lot of fights because I can't seem to defeat any of the mobs. So, chat have been telling me that it's probably to do with my gear and I think it's time to do a bit more of a respec and change up some of the stuff that we have to just get more out of it. So while running a vault earlier today I did get this vault chest plate which gives me 21 armor plus 5 health plus 4 resistance plus 60 poison avoidance plus 32 mana regen plus 9 trap disarm chance. Pretty pretty good vault chest plate. But, you know, the helmet, the leggings, the, the boots, even the shield, I think, are not really giving me what I want. I was trying to focus on health, but I think that actually I'm going to try and go for much heavier armor build. Right, so let's start off with our helmet. We want something with a big implicit. This helmet here has 11 armor plus 6 plus seven health so we're not actually giving up any health but we are getting a lot of armor for it plus there's an empty suffix that we can still use let's try and see what else we get plus 50 percent trap disarm i mean that's not bad so that's good that's good right let's work on these leggings now actually i'm going to use the same leggings uh, this is okay it's not quite what i was going for though plus plus 20 percent mana plus 20 percent mana regen Oh, that is nice. That is tempting. But no, we want, we want, we want more than that. This definitely feels like gambling. Right, we're going for this. This looks good. Plus 6 armor, plus 30% mana regen. Plus 10% increased ability power. Always good to have. Plus 50% efficiency and plus 10% item quantity. The plus 6 armor is really what I'm looking for. Uh, so that is all good. And then finally boots now these oh, these are good boots though plus 11 mana plus 30 percent mana regen are good but i think these boots uh have more potential plus six armor nice no let's let's see if we can get something better oh, this, this durability item rarity oh okay plus six armor plus 12 mana regen maybe i'll take that oh and i guess the last thing i need is a is a shield now the final thing I'm going to look at is swords. I do have those swords which basically even 34, 35 attack damage. But I am curious to see if there's anything better. Do you know what? I'm going to take this sword and I'm going to reroll it a few times. See if we can't get anything better. Oh yeah, that's, that's looking more like it. Plus 19. That's still less than that, isn't it? Wait, do we have a fundamental focus? That's actually a good question. Fundamental. We do have a fundamental focus. Because I'm thinking the problem with this sword is that it's only got 13.5 damage on the implicit. So if we reroll the implicit, well, there you go, plus 24. That's already significantly better. All right, here's my new armor and gear build. I've done a few switching ops of stuff. First of all, this is my armor now. It's all kind of focusing more on the armor. Uh, then the health so that is looking pretty nice still got quite a lot of good mana regeneration I do still have quite a lot of health so that's quite good this gives me a bit of knockback resistance as well and the plus five health is definitely a bonus as for the sword this is what we've got uh, it's got much more attack damage than before but it also does more damage to arthropods and undead it's got a good chance for sweeping hit a chance which is good because i do end up with lots of bunched up mobs so if i can sweep them and kill them all in one hit 
that is pretty good i would have liked to see like chaining or something that would have been pretty good but um i just didn't get it and the crafting potential is quite low now so not really going to do much more uh crafting on that so that's my new build i think hopefully that should be pretty good so i am kind of respecking a bit uh, i'm quite happy with what i've got in my talents but i think that i'm gonna have to uh, get rid of storm arrow i'm really a big fan of storm arrow but i have zero ability power uh, so i need to kind of respec in something that doesn't need ability power so i'm thinking we're gonna go for ghost walk we need something really to like evade if we're like surrounded by mobs and i think ghost walks would be pretty good uh, we still have four and spend skill points oh you know what i could take another level in speed that could be quite good actually oh look how speedy i am so why don't we run a vault to try out our new build oh okay it's a hunter guardian nether vault but it's also the perfect occasion to try out our new build. Well, we definitely killed something quick. Okay, okay. Right, we lost a lot, lot less life there, didn't we? Okay, that didn't feel quite as dangerous. Oh god, okay, don't like that. That that widow thing makes it look like you've just died. Okay, uh, the widow was not good. Oh, actually, it do have quite a lot of life though, to be fair. You know what? I'm holding my own a lot more. Still not the most pleasant of experiences. But that is better. Oh, that is the ultimate test, isn't it? Okay. Let's spawn the stuff in. Clear this room a bit. Oh god, stuff is still hitting me hard. But this will be the ultimate test. I don't think I'm going to be able to complete the Guardians this vault because there is quite a lot of pedestals to do. But I just want to see if I can survive them at least. Oh wow, that's a lot of them hitting me at the same time. I am blocking a lot of shots though, that's good. Okay. So, I'm liking the build. Is it OP? Absolutely not. Is it better? Yes. It's definitely better than what I had before. But it definitely feels like these, this combat is a challenge rather than straight up impossible. Oh, it's a village room. I guess this is the ultimate test, isn't it? We're here to test our gear, so... uh Let's do it. Right, spiders. Ten, plus 10% 10 damage to you. Yeah, see, like, I can resist a bit more. Okay, that was a bit dangerous. But I feel like I'm doing more damage. Which is nice. It, like, it feels like, you know, even with 11 hearts there, I can still kind of do stuff. I'm not just running away in fear, which is nice. Oh, champion. Okay, and that's dead lovely oh look at all the lovely chests that's what you want to see now i'm going to try something else this time i'm going to go invisible go in break that chest oh lovely yeah that's nice actually i've not really used ghost walk before but i think i should be using it a lot more look at that so easy didn't even did it even spawn the thing maybe i was just lucky i'm not entirely sure and we're out fantastic look at that that's a lot of stuff we got there was some good stuff in there but not the build we're looking for let's see what the mod boxes give us an external storage actually is pretty good i do need one of those eventually eight times base value that's not too bad i do need quite a lot of storage so uh yeah that's not too bad at all so yeah i think that is a successful build that went pretty well but it is unfortunately the end of the episode i hope you have enjoyed it and if you have please remember to comment like and subscribe especially that last one please subscribe if you enjoyed it if you got all the way to here clearly, clearly you liked the video so so join us subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye